from Laura in Bookland, and I have a collective book haul um, for the last few weeks. Um, I've decided I'm only going to go shopping one time a month for um, books, and maybe that'll keep my book buying down. I don't know. I don't really go on the book buying band because I really love buying books, but um, we'll see. I apologize for any noise you may hear. My cat won't leave me alone. The rabbit was going nuts earlier. It's a perfect example. Uh, my family's out there in the living room. It's chaos in my house today. And the dogs are out there. Um, but I discovered that there is an Ollie's about 30 minutes from my house. Now, this is 30 minutes by the highway, so, I mean, it's not really that close. It's going to be like a once a month trip, maybe. Um, but I did pick up about 12 books from there. I was really excited. I can't beat, you know, $1.99 for a hardback. So because I have so many books, I've got some review books, I'm not really going to talk about the synopsis, um, but, so we'll just speed through and we'll get right on. The first book I picked up is All the Truth That's in Me by Julie Berry. Um, this book has been on my wish list forever. It's about two girls who go missing and then two years later one of them shows up. She's horribly disfigured and she doesn't speak. But obviously she's the only one that knows what has happened. Um, it looks really, really good. The next book I picked up is Imposter by Susan Winokur. This is another book that's been on my wish list for a while now. Um, I believe a girl has to assume the identity of another girl to help stop a serial killer, if I'm not mistaken, but it sounds really good. I picked up How to Leave a Li Lead a Life of Crime by Kirsten Miller. Uh, I remember when this book was doing its rounds um, for, like, review copies. And it's pretty much about a school that teaches you how to, like, be a meth dealer, or a prostitute, a serial killer. And then I actually just figured out this morning that this has a double cover, which is kind of cool. So if you don't like this cover, you can always reverse it. Um, I actually sort of like the cover that it comes on, so I'll just be keeping it as that. I picked up Proxy by Alex London. I had the pleasure of meeting Alex at Y'all Fest when we went there. And then I also got um, a bookmark when we were at Y'all Fest. So I hadn't read the book yet and decided um, that I might as well just pick it up since I saw it there and it was only $1.99. I picked up The Catastrophic History of You and Me by Jess Rothen Rothenberg. <laughs> um, this is about a girl who literally dies of a broken heart. Um, this is a book I have seen a, on a lot of people's Ollie's hauls, and that is Ripper by Stefan Petrusha. Um, I believe this is about a modern day copycat um, Jack the Ripper in New York. Um, Jack the Ripper has always fascinated me for some reason, so I was um, super excited when I actually saw it there. And then I picked up two Brenna Yovanoff books. I picked up Paper Valentine. Um, it has been so long since I've added this book to my wish list. I don't even remember really what it's about. Um, it is damaged, but it's not that big of a deal. I could just put a piece of tape on it and it'd be all right. I also picked up The Space Between by Brenna Yovanoff. This is about a girl who's the daughter of a demon and a fallen angel. And the cover of this is so beautiful. Oh, it's shiny and it feels cool. Um, I do own the replacement by her also. So now I believe I own all three three of her books. I'm not sure if she has any more, but I have not read any of them, so I should probably get on that. I picked up Winter Girls by Lori Hulse Anderson. Uh, I believe this is about a couple high school students, and um, they have some sort of eating disorder. One of them dies, and that's all I know. Um, I did read Speak by Lori Hulse Anderson. Absolutely loved it. Um, it's one of my favorite books of all time, so I've been really wanting to read more of her stuff. I picked up Starcursed by Jessica Spotswood. This is the second book in the Cahill Witch Chronicles um, trilogy or um, series. I'm not really sure. Um, I do own the first one. Haven't read it yet. I may actually return this copy for a different one because I didn't realize it's like, I don't know, sort of scuffed up or something. It's like, you can't feel it, but... I mean, you can see it is. I don't know. But it was $1.99. But they had like 10,000 copies there. So I may um, exchange this one. The next book I picked up is The 39 Deaths of Adam Strand by Gregory Galloway. This is about a kid who um, decides that he's bored and he's going to try to commit suicide. And every time he does, he wakes up virtually unharmed. Um, this is another book that has been on my wish list for quite some time. Um, so I'm really excited to get into that. And the last book I picked up is the only one that I'd never really heard of before, and that is The Eternal Ones by Kirsten Miller. Now, I've seen it before, but I have no idea what it's about, but it's hardcover, 
It's in perfect condition. There is no remainder mark. And I don't know if you can see that, but it was 99 cents. How am I not going to buy this for 99 cents? Okay, now on to the other books I got. Um, on Twitter a while back, Penguin was hosting a giveaway um, for the, the Impossible Knife of Memory by Lori Hall Sanderson. And I won! So there it is, The Impossible Knife of Memory by Lori Hall Sanderson. It's not autographed or anything, it was just a hard copy of the book. Um, again, love Lori Hall Sanderson and Speak. So, this is another book to add to my collection of hers. For review from Bowser and Bray, I got House of Secrets, Battle of the Beast by Chris Columbus and Ned, v Ned Vizzini. This is the second book in the House of Secrets um, trilogy, I think, series, I'm not really sure. Um, this comes out in April, so I think I'm going to head to the library to pick up the first one. Um, to see if I like it, and then hopefully I'll be able to read that. And then from Quirk Books, I got Nick and Tesla's Secret Agent Gadget Battle, a mystery with spy cameras, code wheels, and other gadgets you can build yourself by Science Bob Flegfelder and Steve Hawkinsmith. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but that guy's got a last name. <laughs> um, this is the third book, I believe, I'm not sure if you have to read the first and second books, so if you happen to know that, let me know in the comments, and then I'll know whether to pick these up from the library or not. Um, but otherwise, I got this. And then along with that came a poster that the kids knocked on the floor, and the rabbit decided that he was going to eat it. Um, but, oh, upside down. It's a poster of, I believe this is the first book, maybe, that the poster is. Um, but I thought that was pretty cool. And I picked up two books from Amazon that were free. The first one is Malice in Wonderland, Alice the Assassin by Lotus Rose. This is the first book in the Malice in Wonderland series trilogy, I'm not really sure. I just picked it up because it was a sort of retelling, I guess, of Alice in Wonderland. I buy any and everything Alice in Wonderland that I can find, so naturally I was going to pick that up for free. And then I also picked up Forbidden by Amy Miles. I don't remember what it's about, but I do remember liking the synopsis, and that's why I decided to get it. Um, but it was also sort of a cover buy because the cover was definitely what drew me to the book in the first place, because I have never heard of this book before. Um, but yeah, so I picked up those two books. And then I got some books from NetGalley. The first book, which I was actually accepted for yesterday, was Emily and the Strangers, Volume 1, by Rob Rager, I believe is who the author is. Um, I've read three of Emily and the Strangers books um, in another series. I have the fourth one, and I know I started it, but for some reason I never picked it back up. Um, so I was pretty excited to get, except for, for this one, I do really enjoy those books. I was accepted to read Snitch by Olivia Sams. This is the second book in the B Chronicles, um, trilogy, maybe? I read the first one for review last year. Really, really enjoyed it, so I was super excited when I saw that I could request the second one also. I got Torn Away by Jennifer Brown. I do own, I think, another Jennifer Brown book. Oh yeah, I do own Hate List by Jennifer Brown, but I have not read it yet. Um, but this is about a girl whose um, world is devastated by a tornado, and then I think she has to go live um, with her grandparents, maybe, that she doesn't really know, I think is what that one was about. Um, but it looked really interesting, and I liked the cover, so I went ahead and requested that one. I picked up The Truth About Alice by Jennifer Matthew, I think is how you pronounce the last name. Um, this is a, what looks like a realistic fiction book, maybe, um, and it's just about a girl named Alice who everybody, you know, tells rumors about, like, everybody knows who she is. Um, it looked really good, and it was on, like, a Read Now thing on NetGalley, so I snatched that one up when I got the chance. I picked up Before They Find Us by Michelle Hansen. This looks like a, a mystery thriller book about a girl who gets a text message, and um, then it goes on from there that they're trying to escape um, a killer, I believe. I don't know. I love, love, love thriller books. Those are by far my favorite genre, um, so I'm really excited to read that one. And I believe the last book I picked up from NetGalley is Blackout by Jan Christensen. It's about a girl who has total memory loss, and then I believe she... Um, 
just assumes somebody's new identity or makes up a new identity for herself in this new town that she stumbles across. Um, it sounded pretty good. It's another mystery thriller book. Again, I love mystery thrillers. I can't pass them up when I see a YA one. All right, then I picked up some books from Edelweiss. Um, one of the first books I picked up is Amity by Michael Osto, I believe is how you pronounce the last name. This looks like an Amityville horror retelling. Um, I have enjoyed um, the movies. I've seen a couple of the different movies. I enjoyed both of them. Um, it's definitely an interesting story, but what really attracted me to it was the, um, the publisher, you know, was saying that it's, um, fans of Stephen King and American Horror Story. I have seen a couple American Horror Story episodes, but I love Stephen King, so I jumped on that to pick that one up. I picked up Of Monsters and Madness by Jessica Verde. This is a Edgar Allan Poe retelling, I believe. Um, it looked really good. It is um, historical fiction, which is not always my favorite, but um, it's sort of a hit and miss thing for me, so I'm hoping I'll like it, but I don't have like gigantic expectations for this, so I really can't be let down, you know, if I don't like it. I picked up Sweet Reckoning by Wendy Higgins, which is the third book in the um, Sweet Sweet Trilogy, I think is what it's called. And the first book is Sweet Evil. I do own it. I haven't read it yet. I have not read the second one, obviously, either. Um, I do not own the second one, so I'll have to get that one, and then I'll just read them straight through. I picked up Strange and Ever After by Susan Dinner. This is the third book in the Something Strange and Deadly Trilogy. I read the first one at the end of last year and really enjoyed it. I have the second one on my TBR shelf for this year, so I'll definitely be picking both of those up and reading those. I also got accepted for Renegade by Deborah Dreza. This is the second book in the Mila 2.0 um, trilogy, I think is what it's going to be. I don't know, but I read Mila 2.0 last year. It was on my favorites of 2013 list, and I am so excited. I was like stalking that book, waiting for it to go on Edelweiss so that I could, ex to, um, so I could request it. Um, so I was super, super excited for that one. The last book I picked up from Edelweiss is In the After by Demetria Lunetta. This is the second, and I believe it's only a duology, of the In the After series, duology, whatever you want to call it. Um, I have not read the first one, but it is actually in my cart on book closeouts or book outlet, whatever they call it now. Um... So I'll probably go ahead and pick that one up now, definitely, since I got the second one for review. Um, it is only a duology, I believe, so, you know, it's that's I can blow through those. I love duologies. So those are my favorite things. And then the last and final two slash three books, if you want to count it, that I got um, were for, from the author. One of them is for a blog tour, and that is Soul Control by C. Elizabeth. Um, it has actually been a while since I accepted... Um, the offer to be on the blog tour for this, so I can't even remember what it's about, but I was actually supposed to get a hard copy, like a physical copy of the book, but I guess the author ran out or something, so I ended up getting a PDF, which I was a little bummed out, but oh well, what am I going to do about it now? Um, so I do have that book, and then I had an author email me asking if I would read her middle grade series. Um, it is short stories, they're only about 85 pages long, but they're the Delilah Dusticle series. The first book is Delilah Dusticle, and then the second book is Delilah Dusticle's Transylvanian Adventure. Um, like I said, they're both very, very short books. Um, they're by A.J. York, I don't think I mentioned that. Um, so I will definitely be reading both of those books. I believe you can actually buy them off Smashwords, I believe is the website. Um, but I think you can also get them off of Amazon too. Um, so I'll be reading those. And I believe that is everything I got within the last month. I don't think I forgot anything, but it's very possible. Um, like I said, I will be doing um, these once a month now. But if you like seeing them every week, I will still be doing them on the blog every week because I have a bookish buys and weekly um, wrap up post that I do on Sundays so those will still be on there this is just sort of a YouTube booktube only thing that I'm just gonna do one big book call every month um, 
But yeah, I will have links to the blog and the blog post that has all the books listed and links and everything like that if you want to go check that out. So let me know um, if you've read any of these books in the comments below or what you've got, um, you know, if you've gotten any of these books recently too. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye! I can't. I can't not buy it for 99 cents. I picked up the 39 Deaths of Gregory Ga- oh. Um, but, so yeah, I got that one. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna put this in the... <laughs> no. Now, I already started recording. Now I'm gonna put it in... Nope, I'm, already, I'm putting it in the blue...